Like you, I'm working on a lot of things at the same time. Working with customers every day, helping the product teams to make things better for all of you, and all of the research and production that goes into making these videos. And since all of you are just as busy as I am, you know what that means. Windows. Lots and lots of windows. I thought I was going to go nuts. I've used so many windows that I even started using that multiple desktop feature in Windows 11 just so I could keep my personal stuff away from the stuff I do for Microsoft or the Azure Academy. Until I discovered this awesome secret. Tabs. Now you already use tabs to cut down on the number of browser windows that you have open. And the way I do it is to set up a different browser for each topic that I'm working on. But the more I do it once, the more browser windows I have open and I'm right back to clutter. So now I use the next layer of inception by collapsing all of those tabs down into groups. Each topic is then a single group on one browser tab. And you can even right click on a group and save it as a collection. That way you don't need to have 50 groups open at once. And when you need to get that collection back, you just click the collections button and then reload them whenever you want. I also started using the new Windows Terminal. That combines the powers of the Command Prompt, PowerShell, the Azure Cloud Shell all together into different tabs. And if you're part of that ever-growing community going to the dark side, I mean Linux, you can have your shell in the terminal as well. But do you know where there are no tabs? In Windows itself. And tabs are the most requested feature to be added to the Windows Explorer. And this is 2022 for crying out loud. So why then in the world don't we have tabs in the Windows Explorer yet? Well, now you can. Let me show you how. As of this recording, you're going to need the Windows Insider builds to start using tabs. This is where Microsoft gives you and me a chance to test the features out like tabs before they're pushed out to the rest of the world. Now, once you've signed up to be an insider, open your Windows settings, go to Windows Updates, and then click the Windows Insider program. Just click the button to get started, and then you click over here to link your account Sign in and select the build that you want. Now to get tabs working, you'll need the beta or dev channels. And since beta is a lot more stable than dev, let's pick that one. Then click continue. Review the license agreements and click continue again, and then click to restart. Now after your reboot, your computer is gonna get all synced up, and then you go back to Windows Update, and you'll see there the Windows 11 Insider Preview. Just make sure that the version you're installing is 22,621.450 or newer. After that gets installed, reboot again, and now you're on the right version of the preview. But you're gonna need one more thing, and I don't know why Microsoft did this, but even in this preview build, tabs are a hidden feature. So it's going to take a special tool to enable them. Now the link for this GitHub repo is in the video description, once you get here, click to download that zip file, go to that directory and extract those files, and then open a command prompt as administrator. Switch to the extracted directory, and then copy and paste this command from the video description, and then press enter. Now reboot one last time, and as soon as you're back up, open the file explorer, and you can see tabs in your windows. Now you can click the plus to create new tabs, or you can even use the keyboard shortcut of control plus T, or you can right click on a folder and select to open in a new tab. And you can even move the tabs around within the window. And you can't really do much more than that yet because the feature is still very new. But this is how windows should be, simple and organized. So now you can cut down on all that windows clutter. And who knows, maybe you won't need multiple desktops anymore. Or would you? Comment below on what you think of tabs or multiple desktops, and especially if you know of another solution that I should try to keep IT simple. Speaking of things to keep it simple, there are even cooler features coming to Windows soon, several of which are going to integrate your computer with the Windows 365 service. So you should watch this next video so you can be ready. Happy learning.